Hello and welcome to today's virtual assembly. Today's assembly is on rights respecting school and during this the course of this time you're going to learn a little bit more about what rights respecting school actually is and also what that means for you and how that's going to impact your time at Bella Houston Academy. We're really excited about this journey and we hope you are too. We hope you really enjoyed the launch day we had before Christmas and hopefully we will answer some of your questions during this assembly. I'm Miss Ferguson, I'm one of the science teachers in the school and if after this assembly you have any questions please come and find me within the school um, and I'll be happy to answer them. Hello I'm Miss Dad Costa, I'll be telling you a little bit about what this means for our school and how we're going to embark on that journey. So the Rights Respected School Award is basically adults and pupils teaching and learning about the rights and those rights are set out in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. There's 42 that we focus on. Um, we'll learn about them in time. We'll also be teaching and learning through the rights so that we learn to respect one another. That includes parents, teachers and pupils. And we'll learn to work for the rights. And that involves us standing up for what is right, what we believe is correct, and basically fighting for fairness in our school in our local community and in the global community. How are you? How is this going to impact you? How is our journey towards becoming a rights respecting school going to make things a little bit different? Well, one of the things that you're going to notice, first of all, is that you're going to hear a lot more about your rights and the UNCRC in which they are laid out. You will hopefully see these rights posted around the school particularly on the right respecting notice board that we have in the main entryway to the school, but also in your classrooms and around the school in other places. You're going to hear about your rights in assemblies and in class, and you're also going to be told a little bit more about them and how they can impact you. And in turn, you will learn about your responsibilities. A big thing we're going to be teaching you about as well is the importance of respect, respecting each other and respecting each other's rights. Because if you have these rights, so does everyone. That is one of the things that is set out in the convention, is the fact that these rights are for everyone. And so you have to respect other people's rights if you expect your own to be respected too. And finally, one of the biggest changes which I think you will see is the fact that we are really going to want to get you involved in decision making and um, and how this school, your school, is. Because it's really important as part of a right respecting school that we are hearing your voice and giving you that voice. So one of the first things you're going to notice that we're going to be launching in the coming weeks is a steering group that is made up of both pupils and staff. So that there is an open forum in which you can raise issues and hopefully we can see positive changes and make Bella Houston Academy a wonderful place to be. Another part of this journey towards becoming a rights respecting school is looking at our place within a larger global community as well as within our local and school community and helping you on your way to becoming active, engaged global citizens. So as I already mentioned, these are the rights that every child has and you're going to learn about your role within the world and how you can help other children and other young people ensure that they're getting their rights met. Now we're going to highlight just a few of the articles which are in the convention that we feel are appropriate to just now. One of the four articles we'll be talking about today is Article 42, which states that governments must actively work to make sure children and adults know about the Convention. This is an important one for us just now. They're all important, it's just that we've chosen this one because we're at the start of our journey towards becoming a rights respecting school. Article 28 is one of the most well-known articles within the UNCRC. It states that every child and young person should have the right to an education. This education should be fully accessible and should meet their needs. That means that even in a time like this, during a lockdown, every single child should have the right to a good education which supports their emotional and academic development. The next article is Article 16, which states that every child has a right to privacy. 
the law should protect the child's private family and home life, including protecting children from unlawful attacks that harm their reputation. This one's been chosen for many reasons, but mainly because of our move on to online learning. We're aware that you may not be at home by yourself, there's other people in your household, and we would never encourage, as much as we love to see you as a class, we would never encourage you to have your camera or your microphone on if you felt that they were things that were breaching or violating your privacy. Article 31 in the UNCRC is an article which many young people don't know that they actually have as a right. The article states that every single child has the right to play, relax and take part in a range of cultural and artistic activities. What this basically means is that it's your right to have time away from work or school to focus on your physical and mental well-being. You might remember just before Christmas we held a Rights Respecting School logo competition. There was lots of wonderful designs that were entered into that, so well done to the first and second years who did create something for that competition. They were all wonderful. There was a lot of debate as to who was going to come first, second and third, but we managed to narrow it down. In third place we have Jacob 1i2, in second place Maha 1m1 and in first place Leon 1s2. Well done to the three of you. You all have prizes waiting for you when you come back to school and Leon, your logo will now become the logo for the Rights Respecting School at Bella Houston Academy. Excellent work, well done. Hopefully, after everything you've heard, you are really excited about this journey that we are going on. And if you have any further questions or you would like to find out more, then please visit us at our Twitter page, Bella R. R S A, and um, we'll also be featured on the school app, the school website, or just come speak to any one of us that you've seen in this assembly. We'll happily answer any questions you have, and please also, show, if you are interested in joining the steering group, let us know. That's everything we have to say today. Thank you so much for listening and paying attention. You already know where to go if you want to find out more information. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.